What's going on, all you beautiful bananas? Banana Man here. Uh, today, I'm just bringing you uh, a very big accomplishment of mine. Um, recently, on my channel, I posted a video called Speedrunners 4, except it's torture. At least, I think that was the title of the video. Basically, it's just speedrunners, except everything is flipped inverted, or upside down. Uh, like you'll see on screen here. It's really difficult to play if you've ever played it. Not a lot of people have, though. It's not a very popular game because most people play Speedrunners 4 and they're like, Oh, okay, that's all there is to do here. <laughs> but I decided to take on the challenge whenever I uploaded that other video and you know, try to beat it. I did not. I didn't come close. I spent about an hour recording along with all of the other versions of Speedrunners and decided that was enough. But recently, when I was just sitting here with way too much spare time on my hands and not enough to do, you know, because quarantine and all of the, you know, virus that shall not be named, uh, you know, I just decided to tackle it and beat it. And I did that. It was about like an hour and a half of playing just that game. But I did it. It was frustrating. It was easy. Well, no, it was... How do I phrase this? It wasn't as hard as I expected. I was expecting it to be very, very difficult. Like, impossibly difficult, hence the name. I mean, I hadn't even seen anyone else beat it. Uh, the badge saying, oh, you beat the game, says that no one's ever completed it before. I don't think that's true because I completed it and it hasn't updated the badge. If it does, uh, once I'm going to edit and upload this video, I'll put that on screen. Or I'll just put some text that says I didn't find anything. But, I don't think many people have beat it before, because they kind of get through it, they get to one level, and they're like, I'm done with this, and they leave, you know? Because most people do that when they're mad, or they hit something and then leave, which is not healthy. You should see a therapist if you're doing that. But I'm getting sidetracked, so uh, uh, back to my topic. So, you know, it wasn't as hard as I thought it was. I got through it. There are some levels that were extremely difficult. Uh, the biggest challenge is the movement. Everything flips. Forward is backwards, backwards is forward, left is right, right is left. Unless you're talking about the mouse. Going up on the mouse pushes the screen down. Going down on the mouse pushes the screen up. But left and right on the mouse is still the same for some reason. So what I do, and I did this in my Speedrunners 4 except it's torture video, is I took the screen and I placed it to where it's directly down on my character. If you do that, it eliminates the whole issue of having to look at everything upside down because you're just looking at everything flat. You can see in front of you, uh, holding forward is just always directly uh, going forward, and you just move the mouse to turn. It's slower, definitely not as efficient as just trying to master the controls, but I'm also not here to speedrun it, I'm just here to beat the freaking game because it was, you know, called impossible and I wanted to show that it wasn't. One of the biggest issues you face whenever you're doing this little camera trick is depth perception. You have no depth perception. It shows on a lot of levels more than others when I'm playing, but you cannot tell if it is above or below you. Only if you're above it, which you know, you kind of already have to be above it, and there is a shadow on top of it, can you tell if it is above or below you, but besides that, that's it. You have basically no depth perception. So levels like the ice level, the candy level, the skyscraper level, some of the first levels even, jumping becomes really difficult because you're like, oh, do I need to jump at this side? Because sometimes one side is higher than the other and they want you to jump like that. But I can't tell which one's higher or not and I'm not about to stop at every platform because that would take me hours to do. But uh, anyways, yeah, I just wanted to post this video showing uh, evidence of me beating the game uh on you know on the impossible difficulty it's not uh, dark souls or something but shut up uh i'm a pro gamer i play roblox uh, i hope you all enjoyed this little n narration over some sped up gameplay as i you know it's my uh, expertise i'm either like you know editing some actual gameplay with voice or it's this because there's no in between with me i just need good games to play i don't know I don't, I'm cheap, I don't, <laughs> I don't spend money, but if I can find a free game that's good, I'll play it, 
I can play Arsenal, but that game gets old to record really, really quick just because it'd be like recording CSGO 6,000 times. Eventually, you start seeing the same plays, the same routes, the same death, the same kill, the same guns, etc. And unless I can make it interesting by talking, which when you're buying yourself, it's uh, a little difficult. It's just, it's just no fun, you know, no fun for you, fun for me. I love the game, but uh, it's no fun for anybody viewing the video itself. And well, I don't want to do that because <laughs> my my uh, viewer retention is not good already. But that's mainly because the past two videos I uploaded were crap, and I knew they were crap. I just wanted to post something. But if you have any game suggestions for things I can play, like tons of games in Roblox, I'm willing to play just about anything except scam games. Don't none of those. Uh, if you know, if it could work for a video, if I can play it, if it, if even it's like a very short experience, I'm keen to posting uh, short videos on my channel. So you know, send me whatever, because I just need something to play, and I haven't found anything good. Uh, one thing though, try not to send like Adopt Me or something. Gosh, those games, I don't like them. They're just the same thing, and they're boring. And you have to spend a lot of money on them. And I already went over that I don't spend money. Anyways, uh, that'll be the end of uh, today's video. Uh, hope you all enjoyed. If you did, uh, drop a like and, you know, consider subscribing. If you didn't like the video, though, it's totally fine to dislike it. Uh, and I will see all you beautiful bananas in uh, another video. Uh, goodbye.